Hi, welcome to the next homework video. So this is for homework number five. And so this is for 5.2. And so in 5.2, we're going to go over numbers 2, 8, 13, 18, 33, 37, 40. Okay, so for number two, 5.2, uh, use the laws of logarithms to expand the quantity. And so is ln of x minus one over x plus one, the cube root of that. So the cube root of that is that raised to one third, so I'm gonna write it as that. Um, so it says use the laws of logarithms to expand the quantity. So this is by the third law, this is one third ln of x minus one over x plus one. By the second law, this is one third times ln of x minus one minus ln of x plus one. And so you just distribute the one third. That's one third ln of x minus one minus one third ln of x plus one. And that is expanding the quantity, the given quantity. So that's the answer to number two. Okay. Okay, so we're done with number two. Okay, so the next one is number eight. Expa express the quantity as a single logarithm. Ln of a plus b plus ln of a minus b minus 2 ln c. Okay, so we're going to express the quantity as a single logarithm. Ln of a plus b is equal to ln of a plus b times a minus b by the first logarithm minus 2 ln c. And this is equal to um, ln of a plus b times a minus b minus ln of c squared. That's by the third law of logarithms, right? So that's that. And then this is equal to ln of the fraction a plus b times a minus b over c squared. And that's by the second law of logarithms, because ln of this minus ln of that is ln of the numerator, this is, is the numerator, and c squared is the denominator. And so this is the final answer. Uh, that's expressing the quantity as a single logarithm. Okay? Good, so that's number eight. So we're done with that one. Okay, so we did this one. We did this one. Next is 13. So number 13, um, find the limit. So the limit as x approaches 3 to the right of ln of x squared minus 9. Okay, um, so um, as x approaches 3 to the right, x squared approaches 0 to the right. I mean, sorry, x squared approaches 9 from the right, and x, and, and x squared minus 9 approaches uh, zero from the right. And so if you look at the graph of ln of something, right? So let's say this is y equals ln of u. Uh, this is the x, this is the u axis, and this is the y axis. And so let's say u is equal to x squared minus 9. ln of x squared minus 9, or ln of u where u is x squared minus 9. As x approaches 3 to the right, so u approaches 0 to the right, as x approaches 3 to the right. As x approaches 3 to the right, then x squared minus 9 approaches 0 to the right. And, um, and so this is equal to the limit as u approaches 0 to the right of ln of u, where u is x squared minus 9. Okay, and so the limit as u approaches 0 to the right of ln of u is, is as you can see here, negative infinity. So that's the answer, which is negative infinity. 
Okay. So as as let u equal x squared minus nine, then it, then as x approaches three to the right, then x squared approaches nine to the right, and that means that x squared is approaching nine, but from the right. I mean, as it's the number is getting closer and closer to nine, but the numbers are slightly larger than nine. And so when you subtract nine, x squared minus nine is approaching zero from numbers that are larger than zero. And so u is approaching zero from the right. And so as x approaches three from the right, u approaches zero from the right, and ln of x squared minus nine is ln of u. And so the limit as u approaches zero from the right of ln of u from this graph, as you can see, is nice and good. And that's the answer. Okay, so that's 13. Now 13 is done. Okay, so the next one, number 18. So for number 18, uh, number 18 is differentiate the function. So the function is f of x equals ln of sine squared x. So differentiate the function, see so have f prime of x is equal to the derivative of ln of sine squared x, which is 1 over sine squared x times the derivative of the sine squared x. And the derivative of sine squared x, so this is 1 over sine squared x times the derivative of sine squared x, which is 2 sine x times the derivative of sine x. Okay? Uh, but if you take the derivative, if you take ddx of u squared, it's equal to 2u times the derivative with respect of u. Here, u is sine squared x. And so the derivative of sine squared x is 2 times sine of x times the derivative of sine x. So if you just plug in, if you let u equal, um, just let u equal sine x, then the derivative of ddx of sine x squared, or sine squared x, is equal to 2 times sine x times the derivative with respect to x of sine x. Okay, and that is equal to, that is equal to 1 over sine squared x times 2 sine x, and the derivative of sine x is cosine x. Okay, and you can simplify that. You get 2 times cosine x, divided by, well, the sine x over sine squared x is, is over, over sine x. So you get 2 cosine x over sine x. But actually, so that can be the answer. Uh, that's also equal to 2 cotangent x. Either of those are the answer. Cotangent x is cosine x over sine x. Okay, and so that's the answer to number 18. Okay, so that's 18. Uh, the next one. It's 33. Uh, so for number 33, find y prime or y double prime. Number 33, y is equal to x squared ln of 2x. And so we want to find y prime and y double prime. So y prime is the derivative of that function which we're going to use a power rule for. So it's, this is the first function, that's the second function. The first function, x squared, times the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over 2x times 2, plus the second function, ln of 2x, times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. And so you simplify this, and get y prime is equal to the 2's cancel, and x squared over x is x. This is x plus... 2x ln of 2x. That's y prime. Y double prime is the derivative of that. So the derivative of x is 1 plus the derivative of this. Uh, I'm going to say it's 2 times the derivative of x times ln of 2x. So it's x times the derivative of ln of 2x, which is 1 over 2x times 2, plus the second function ln of 2x times the derivative of x, which is 1. Okay, and so um, if you want to simplify it, y double prime is equal to 1 plus the 2's cancel, the x's cancel, you get 1 plus 2 plus 2 ln of 2x, and that's equal to 3 plus 2 ln of 2x, that is y double prime. Okay. 
이렇게 Okay, so that's y prime and y double prime for number 33. Okay, so number 37. Number 37. If f of x equals ln x over 1 plus x squared, find f prime of 1. Okay, let's find f prime of 1. So f prime of x, using the, the quotient rule, is the bottom function times the derivative of the top function minus the top, top function times the derivative of the bottom function divided by the bottom function squared. Okay, and then just plug in 1 into the derivative. So f prime of 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 squared times 1 over 1 minus ln of 1 times 2 times 1 divided by 1 plus 1 squared squared. So what do you get? You get 2 times 1, which is 2, minus ln of 1 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 2 minus 0 over 2 squared. That's 2 over 4, which is 1 half. And so f prime of 1 is 1 half. Okay, so this is by the quotient rule. Okay. So that's number 37. And one more. Okay, so number 40 is find an equation of the tangent line to the curve at the given point. So y equals ln of x cubed minus 7. And the point is 2 comma 0. Okay, so we want to find an equation of the tangent line. So when you want to find an equation of a line, um, if you have a point in the line and the slope of the line, you have the equation. Okay, right? So a point on the line and um, the slope of y, um, then give you the equation of the line. Give you the equation of the line. Okay? So the point on the line and the slope of the line then give you the equation of the line. Okay? So we have the points already, so we just need the slope. And so if we want the slope of the line at this point, we just find the derivative of the function and plug in x equals 2. So what's y prime of x? It's equal to the derivative of that, which is 1 over x cubed minus 7, times the derivative of x cubed minus 7, which is 3x squared. y prime of 2 is the slope of the line at x equals 2. And so you plug in 2, and you get 1 over 2 cubed minus 7 times 3 times 2 squared. That's equal to 1 over 8 minus 7 times 3 times 2 squared is 12. And so 1 over 8 minus 7 is 1 times 12, which is 12. And so that is equal to the slope of the line at x equals 2. So we know the slope of the line is 12, and the point in the line is 2 comma 0. And so that means that the equation of a line is y equals y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's the point slope form of a line. And so here we have m is 12. And x1 comma y1, um, x1 comma y1 is 2 comma 0. So x1 is 2 and y1 is 0 and m is 12. So you just plug them in and the answer is y minus 0 is equal to m which is 12 times x minus x1 which is 2. And so you can say y is equal to 12 x minus 24. That's the final answer. Okay? And that's it. And so we found the equation of the tangent line at the given point. Y equals 12x minus 24. Okay, see you next time.